What's up guys and welcome back to my channel In today's video guys as you can see this is the Shantumbu combined school What that means this school is from grade 1 to grade 12 Now uh, in today's video I will be telling you or showcasing to you the Shantumbu area I have never made a video about the Shantumbu area Somebody from the US sponsored me to come to this trip. So this trip has been sponsored by a loved subscriber from the US to come and showcase how Shantumbu looks like. And that's the video for today. If you are new on my channel, do me a favor, do subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. Okay, it's the beginning of the rain season um end of hot season yesterday it was extremely hot today it is opposite very cold so today i'll be showing you how shantumbu looks like shantumbu used to be a typical village there's even a village headman uh in shantumbu but the area has really developed the village has developed transformed such that people are even able to there are just plots everywhere as you can see plots of land people are building there are also available plots for sale here individuals are selling and so forth a lot a lot of construction the place has changed it's not a village what it can be there is electricity everywhere so that's the video for today Every time there are deeper trucks uh, doing their thing because there is a heavy construction going on in this area. It is a place you you may need to, to come and see. There is also a police post here coming up. Police post, as you can see, there are those deeper trucks I always tell you about. They are parked there. There is heavy construction here in this area. So this place is known as the Shantumbu area. It used to be a village. I wanted to say Shantumbu residential area. I don't know what to call it. So, guys, what I think to enjoy this video, let's start from the beginning. As I jump on a bus from Lima Tower, and I'm also going to tell you how many kilometers it is from town to here. Let's go. <music> and gentlemen just like that we hit the road from lusaka town from kulima tower and going to shantumbu never talked about so much so this is the chalala area and we are going to join what we call the shantumbu area which is like a gravel road yeah that's the video for today i've never told you so on the left here we have, this is the Shantumbu Road coming from Chilenje and now entering this road. We call it the Shantumbu Road. It's gravel road. Well, I believe Tamak is coming soon. And on the left, what we have is the Lusaka National Park. I think I've done about two videos about the Lusaka National Park. Just a few kilometers you are in Shantumbu. All this area we are already in Shantumbu. That is why this place, I feel a lot of you guys may consider it. A lot of block making companies making blocks for construction because construction has come in the area. You can see power line, everything is already there. People are buying affordable plots here. So it is about 35 kilometers from Kurima Tower to Shantumbu area. 
and it costs on a bus it costs like 35 kwacha which is just like one dollar maybe 50 cents one dollar 50 cents to come here this bar belongs to zambian musician dandy craze he calls himself king dandy so he has called it uh, king dandy vip pub yes does it uh, do you still remember don't check over we love the lady lash aha this guy has got a buy in this area so yeah it is what it is this is the place which is coming up from a village it has turned into a residential area which everyone is looking after you can imagine 35 kilometers you find a village in my opinion this is still a good place you can find accommodation you can find more affordable plots if you go a little bit further even a farm arrangement can be found here i found out everything for you guys everything you need to know about this place a plot of land Ooh, oh, i'm going to tell you how much they cost Shantumbu so this is baptist the Chantumbu baptist church i have a question for you ladies and gentlemen have you ever heard of the Shantumbu area? When I used to live in Chilenje, I remember at my auntie's place in 1991, we were kids, there was a road we just boasted that Shantumbu road, and we thought, oh my god, is this a village? Oh, when you are a child, you think like a child. This place, oh, there is even a village headman, so that's the headman's house. Headman Shantumbu. So, if people, you have an area here or anyone selling land, more block making companies, a, a block, uh huh, making the, the companies that make blocks. If you need an area, multiple trucks. So, meaning construction, they are constructing roads, carrying blocks, carrying sand, carrying stones for construction, everything. This place is changing real real fast plots which you can buy for 400,000 kwacha 20 by 20 here you can buy it at less than quarter i found plots here for 75,000 kwacha yes i found plots 75,000 kwacha i found plots for 50,000 kwacha did you hear me 50,000 kwacha. So if you are complaining 35 kilometers from Lusaka, you want to compete with the big boys, be my guest. It's like marking the end of the hot season today. Yesterday it was very hot and today it's chilling, chilling. I even regret not wearing something warm. So now... Uh, in Shantumbu, I can see here there is even a police, uh, whether it's a police station or police post, whatever you do call it, there is a police post. Uh, after the police post, there is a, a school there and also another school there. I can see kids uh, playing. Yeah, those are the kids. They are kids who are playing there at that school, guys. Take a look at the kids playing. Thank God for zooming experience. Yeah. So this is the Shantumbu area. You can see plots. Uh, people are literally constructing. Everything here looks new. This place, guys, used to be, um, it used to be like a village, it used to be a village, but now, not anymore. The place is so developed beyond the imagination. And here, guys, you can also buy plots. I even passed through a place where there is um, the headman of this place. So this village arrangement, I'm telling you, uh, 
I have a question for you, like I always ask guys, would you live in this area? So there's even a ground here for the school here. Uh, where are the kids? A ground or a football pitch. Would you live in Shantumbu area? Shantumbu is not so far from town, so, so to say. In my case, maybe I can comment. Yes, my opinion. I can live here, guys, but I can give some conditions. Living here, I would need big land. If I'm allocated with big land, even a little bit further from here, uh, it must be above one acre, then I would live here. You can see blocks here, people are building. Take a look, houses everywhere. There are plots. So what can we say? This is the place where uh, Lusaka is shifting to. So you have no option. So people are building and also plots of land here are much, much more affordable. So this is a private school, guys. That ground belongs to Shantumbu Combined School. So Shantumbu Combined School has got grade one uh, up to grade seven. So it has got all grades, grade one to grade seven. So this place, they still call it Shantumbu and there's even a village headman. Uh, called the Hedman Shantumbu. So here, people, even rare animals, those who have got big land, uh, because it's a village arrangement, but the village which is very close to, uh, to, to Lusaka town. Yeah, I would call it that. Take a look. Uh-huh, I can see even animals. Take a look, animals. So you can see, there are even cattle here, cattle farmers. So people here are even rearing cattle. It is what it is, guys. So I'm showing you all that. So here in Shantumbu, there are some places still bush like this. Take a look. Mm -hmm. You can come here and get some piece of land. Maybe go to the headman, talk to the headman. That is how land is acquired here. Things can be changed later. I give you information that I want, I always want to give you because, uh, I mean, I've been to almost every residential area of Lusaka. If you feel there's a residential area I've never covered in Lusaka as travotainment, Comment down below, I'll be going there. Talk of Ibex, Chelston, Avondale, Lusaka West. Ooh, mention it. I have covered the entire Lusaka. That's why I always say that I'm the most well-traveled vlogger uh, in Zambia. If it, when it comes to showing you around, I think travelment gives you everything you need to to know about Lusaka. So I'll also be telling you how much a plot of land costs right here. I bring you stories everywhere I go. Right now, today, in Shantou, let me show you a little bit about uh, what is here. A little bit, just a little bit, guys. Take a look. Take a look at the place. More houses there. Take a look. Uh -huh. So this is like a hilltop on a hill somewhere here in uh, Shantumbo. Like I was telling you, a lot of construction. So as you can see, there is even a quarry place here. 
So look at this paper truck. It's carrying some aggregates. So this is the main station known as the this is where I would call the Shantumbu main station. Yeah. Shantumbu main station. I think they call this place is it? They call it the school is because of the school which is there guys. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure if you are new, subscribe, turn on the notification, give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.